Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This is another Shitefest vacuum, the Electrolux Vitesse Pet Lover in 1600 watt flavour. I've had one of these before, I've had a few Vitesses, but I've had one of these blue 1600 watt ones before and they're not bad, they're not great, but they're alright. Especially for free, I'm quite chuffed, and it is very complete. So, let us have a look at it. And clean it up a little bit as well, because I'm not going to do a full refurb on this. Just like the Vax VX2 is just going to be sort of wiped out, vacuumed off, and sold. So, powerful cleaning made easy, no bags to buy ever, which is a bit of a silly claim because buying bags, if I just pop that down there, buying bags would be easier because it's one of these with the ever reliable pleated filter which as you can see is pretty clogged up but we'll leave that for now we'll turn it on and laugh at it and etc. Let me just pop you down so I can pop this back in and then so I'll, I'll, I'll get that to vacuum off and we shall see what's what. So we have a turbo tool with it, which is in need of a bit of a clean. So we shall give that a bit of a clean out as well. I need to drop the cable to be able to show you the hose because the cable's wrapped around the hose. Aha! There we go. So we'll drop the cable, we'll have a look at the hose. It's a non-stretch hose on these quite long although it does wrap itself around the bottom of the machine so you can pull it backwards so there's that Ooh, fine you fall over see if I care matey so there we go we have the extension wand and crevice tool now there's a bit of a shame with these because they've got this lovely blue wrap around the wand but it does that I'm not going to bother doing anything about it but it's a thing. There's the very small but deceptively long crevice tool. A little bit pointless and there's a the little dusting brush. So yes, we'll pop all that to one side and we shall put the cable into its little clip where it should go. There we go. Or I'll pop the hose back on. Yeah just to keep it out of the way while we have a look at the underside of it. It's not blocked, which is a good sign. Oh, there we go. Over you go. Over we go. And let's have a look under here. Well, there's something clogged up under there. And the brushes on this one are quite soft. I've had stiffer vitesses. We'll whip the hood off and get that hair out of there in a minute. So yeah, not really a lot else to tell you. It's just another cheap bagless vacuum. I can't imagine for a second it's an Electrolux design. Not for one momento. Right, let's plug it in. I don't know if it's on or off. It's on. Well, it runs, but the first thing I can tell you is that there is no suction at all because obviously the filter is very clogged. So let me pause, find a screwdriver and some sort of a suction device, and we'll see what we can do about that. So we have the Miele at the ready. I have a screwdriver, and I'm going to start by seeing what the hell is growing out of this. 
Now, I think this, from previous ones, and this is why I don't think this is an Electrolux design, because I've seen this before with a headlight. It wasn't badged up as Electrolux. Maybe our American friends can help. Look at that, look. That's... Hmm. We can't... I'm, I'm not taking the motor out of this. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's got nose hair. Let me just get that gone. <laughs> There we go. And we're also going to perform a little hack. If I can find a very small screwdriver. Another collector told me that, as you can tell by that, I mean, there's still, I haven't come, I haven't done, yes. There's still lots of fluff in there. These, this is the post filter slash diffuser. And because these are so notoriously bad at filtration, they clog up, as I can tell, just by just by doing that. I don't think I fancy undoing it all, but maybe we should. Shall we? Should we do this properly? I mean, I'm going to take that out anyway, because obviously where all the dirt goes through the rubbish filter and out, it can't get out of the machine, and it blocks that up which then kills the machine because it overheats and dies. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get at it enough by just ripping apart that bit of fabric. Or if I can, it will then blow rubbish out forever. So I think what we shall do, I need to be a bit careful with all these screws now. I wasn't fully expecting to do this, but we'll do it anyway. Why not? So, we'll take the hood off. Ah, uh, That's annoying. These are Torx bits and I haven't got my toolbox with me. They're all Torx bits. Uh-oh. I just need to borrow the flash from my camera. Ah, these are all Torx. Ooh. Let me see if I can find a Torx driver anywhere. Be right back. No, yeah, all right, I managed to find one. A T15. So, we shall take the belt off. Which luckily isn't knackered. So we have, yeah, look at all that. Let's take this out. And we'll come to all that in a minute. Most of it might fall out anyway. So we'll take out these pivots. Here. So this isn't going to be a full restoration, it's literally. In fact, you know what, just from that little test run, that's very warm. So I think it's clear to see that this has led... The guy that gave it to me said it hadn't been used very much. And although I don't want to undermine his honesty, he could be right, it could just be so rubbish that it hasn't been used much and it's clogged itself up. Right, so I'm going to see if I can set you down up there so I don't have to keep holding the camera while we undo these screws here. There's one here. Like I say, I've, I've had a few of these and they do all suffer with this to some degree. It just seems to be something that plagues them. They're just a cheap design. Made in PRC Z4703A. Serial number 0613004609. That 0613 could be week 13, 2006. That might fit. Looking on here, there's a load of dirt trying to escape from there. There we go. Wow. Right. There we go, look. So, my little suction has done that. Wow. Yeah, that motor's warm. And for good reason as well. Right, right let's have that out. And clean this up.
Right. Well, that's a little bit better. There's still hair clinging on. The motor's in good condition, though. So I think we saved it. There's the Chinese motor details. Anyway, so let's pop this all back together. I reckon if we hadn't have done this, we could oh, let me straighten you up a little bit. There we go. We could have measured the life expectancy of this motor in minutes rather than hopefully a bit longer. So, how did this all go together? Not that it's going back together the same way as this has been put in. It'll be fine. Well, I'm glad we checked that because, like I said, although I'm, it's only going to be sold as a cheap vacuum, I'd rather it not die on the new owner straight away. There we go. So on to this part, and this is the bit that I was really thinking about, because as you can see, all that dirt is just plastered up against the back of that. And as much as it is a massive bodge, As much as it's a massive bodge, we're going to try and remove as much of this as we can. Oh, that's some carpet. There we go. Just because, I don't know really, I just, I'd rather it flung out. This, this could be many years worth of build up. Well, it probably is. So at least it'll flick out all the little bits as and when it comes to them. Rather than build it up and build it up. So it's not going to be sold as an expensive vacuum. Just a cheap and cheerful £25. Where's my little screwdriver? I'm losing my tools now. Let me go find the better little screwdriver. Hey! There we go. I'd rather it last a little while. The average person that's buying this won't be expecting a great machine. All they'll literally want it for is to pick up bits. They won't be like you and me. The majority of the people who will watch my channel who will actually care about vacuums. They will just want a hoover. And the hoover we shall give them. This is more difficult than I was imagining. I thought this would just pull off. It's not, it's stuck on really well and I've not got anything better to push at it with. Oh, probably, that is awful. Oh. I can't, my big fat fingers won't go in. And I can't scrape it. I can't scrape the adhesive off because it's on quite well. It must have burned it out. What could possibly go wrong? There we go. If we just get the worst of it off. I don't anybody's actually going to pay much attention to it. I feel like a slight for showing you me doing this, but in the vacuum cleaner world with cheap vacuums, I mean, if I was going to search for £25, that would probably be about $20. So that'll give you an idea of the calibre of this machine. I mean, I have done proper strip down and refurb threads on one of these. And it did come up quite nicely, but I ain't doing that to this. So, let me put you back up for the bird's eye view as we pop this back together with all of its screws. There we go. One. 
to you can see you can't yes just check in before i go for all of this and you haven't seen a thing i'm on screen where are you we go warning to reduce the risk of electric shock do not use outdoors or wet services caution if cleaner switches shuts off turn off switch and unplug cleaner locate blockage and remove well it probably would have shut itself off in not too long a time due to that because the airflow for the motor would have just been killed and unfortunately there wouldn't have been a blockage to locate and remove I seem to be missing some screws how many screws am I missing? one there's the last black screw here screwy 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 Come on, there's people watching this, don't make me look like a more of a fool than I am. Oh, where is it? Boulder torch again, just to double check. There's one there. Oh, hang on. Ah! It never fell out, look. Cheeky. go we'll pop this back on now it's not sprouting those hair that's these two Phillips screws could have a quick rub on the carpet to get dust off the head yeah, from afar you, you you can't tell no one's gonna notice and if they did like I said 20 pounds I'm not gonna care they won't care this will just be used until it dies again and put in the bin I have just prolonged its life by hopefully a year or two. You never know, somebody might buy it who loves it and cherishes it and cleans its little filter and reads it a bedtime story, but I doubt it. So let us just clean this out a little bit. We want to get all that rubbish out. Whatever that is. Oh, it's a paper clip. Yeah. Look at that. go and then we may as well have a quick look at the brush roll just to get all this hair out now there you go they do pull out and just get rid of all that make it look a bit nice i'll vacuum that up with the tools quickly on the mealer get that out there we go that's a lot better i think i do have a brand new brush roll that would fit this but it's not going on it I'll keep that until they're really rare and somebody needs one like I and others need or needed contour brush rolls. And oh, you can't get them anywhere. And I go, nah, I've got two. Because I've got another one in the shed. And I've got one in the box of bits that you may have seen by now. Don't know what order I'm putting all these videos up in. I'm trying to build it up a little bit so I can actually have them on my channel in some sort of coherent order uh, that was growing something as well what's all this ah they're pine needles look very dead pine needles you can't see on this brown carpet oh that's nice isn't it right that's as clean as it needs to be no one cares let's pop these metal pivot brackets on like so get in there we've got the really dirty bit to do now we've got to clean the filter i may not film all of that i might start you can get the gist of it and i'll just pause and crack on otherwise this video is going to be long and i know people like the long videos but i only like doing long videos for stuff that's worth it not just me vacuuming off a filter. I might do it. 
but very probably not. Let's just get that dust off there. Keep the hood on. So it's pet love. If you've got pets, this must be the worst machine in the world. Uh, why is that not going? Oh, wait. Oh, we need to put the belt on. I'm not replacing the belt. The belt's fine. It turns the brush roll. Ow. Ow. Yeah, you can have an actual view of what I'm trying to do. I probably should take the brush roll back off, but that's just effort, isn't it? There we go. Now, why won't you go on? Something's not right here. Put it up there again so you don't just see nothing. Oh, come on, I've had a few of these hoods on and off. What's going on? I don't think the brush rolls in right on this end. Roll isn't sitting correctly. There we go. It goes into a keyed part. There we go. Look straight on. Look at that. Do stuff right the first time and it will be much better for you. Right, we best to turn this on, check it still works, which I can't imagine it won't. See if it sounds a bit better as well, though the cyclone's off, so it should sound a fair bit better. But at least the airflow can escape now. Where's the on-off switch? a lot healthier so we best just quickly sort the filter out and all this will need is me to sit a bit more comfortably and get the vacuum going to take forever. What I do in these circumstances normally is get a stiff brush but I don't have a stiff brush so we'll loosen it with a screwdriver so you've got to go down every single fleet with the entire filter. Things you do to save having to buy a five pound filter. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to vacuum this up with this machine because it will just clog the filter straight back up again. We'll do a quick demo, but I'll have to run the meter around quickly. You might get to see a bit of proper vacuum action in a minute. Let's get the floor tool out of the shed. Not, not the shed, I'm not at home. Out of the understairs cupboard. That mum's there away at the minute, so I'll do my videos here. And Possibly for the best, because this is filthy. Okay, if we vacuum that now, let's, let, let's try the dusting brush, see if that does anything to help.
That's got a fair bit more off. But there's just still a few tightly packed in. What I should do, although I can't do it because I don't have one, is if I connected a blower to the inside of there, <laughs> put it outside, turn it right up and held me breath and blew, that would clean it out really well. But I don't have a blower. Or a vacuum with me that has a blower. If I was at home, I'd go and grab a dolphin. to do is just loosen it and then it all just sort of falls out and then we'll go back over it with the vacuum just to clean it up oh this is terrible this filter has never been cleaned the problem with these is they even if you clean them they don't last I mean unless you really went and did it every time you used it and let's be honest not even I would do that because that's just effort you need to replace it every year so suddenly a £49.99 vacuum costs you well I reckon these would be a ten of a shot so that's then £59.99 a year well for the first year and then after that first year it won't be the nice shiny new vacuum so I doubt people would bother and it's suddenly quite easy to see why these cheap machines on paper don't look too bad end up in the state that I buy most of them in. I mean I don't mind buying a filter for a machine if it's worth it but I'll never get decent money for this this is only really just to make a bit of petrol money Bit of, bit of pin money as some of the collectors call it because I, I did have a really nice machine from Shitefest which is going to be kept there we go Whew. right let's give that a vacuum blimey that's much better it's not perfect it never will be perfect but it's now not smoking out dust as soon as you touch it so we'll put it back in its holder and put it back on the machine which you can't see because I'm not moving the camera that's not even on Hang on Again, I, I hate these, you've got to line up the tabs. Ow! I just caught my poorly finger. There we go. 
Right, well, we were plugged in for that, so let's see if the suction's improved. <laughs> better and I know the filth came out the filth again as well for a laugh before we have a quick look at this let's see what the turbo is doing. Again, that'll be gummed up with hair. So if we just take out these two screws, get in there, though. Not far off. Not far off a quick test drive and then a final cleanup. Right, how do you come off? Come on, we don't have time for this. Uh, ooh. Flip it back. Right, so we got to do a, we got to actually take it apart. Oh god. I can't really recommend one of these, especially not if you've got hair. If you're bald, great. I you probably can't go far wrong, but if you've got actual hair, I mean it's all in there, but I'm never getting that out, mainly because I can't be bothered. I don't have my toolkit on me to get the circuits on and off. It should work a bit better. Let's. Uh, I can't remember how this goes now. Huh. I think I have to pull these out. No. How the fig do these come out? I've had I've, I've done one of these before. Oh, hang on. Ow. That's it. You've got to turn them whilst trying not to stab yourself in the hand. And then they just pop out. And then the brush rod falls out. Excellent. Right, so we're getting all of this flipping air. God, there's so much of it. It's all wrapped around everywhere. <sighs> but that perfect circle came from the bearings. That's why it didn't spin very nicely. I mean, it, it won't be. So now I've got to take a little screwdriver and tease all the hair out of everywhere. Although this is a pain, this is a quicker way to do it because you, you won't. Actually, there is all pulling out. Now I've started it. Yeah, that's not bad. We might get away with this, lads. Right, and we'll just put all this rubbish back together. Oh, why did I bother? I could have gone to the park at lunch. But no, I'm stripping down a vacuum cleaner. So, we've got to... line that up ah I, ow I can just about knock it in with my finger now so that's good there we go that actually spins now I've lost a uh, there's a locking circuit that goes in there for the riser visor which is an Electrolux thing because I've got a hand vac it has been on my channel with a riser visor system I don't want to get it on though without it flipping falling off there we go right, so that's on there like so I, I can't do much more about the turbine I'm sure it could be fine 
make sure that the I'll show you it in a second. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna go make sure that the end bits sit properly. Do up the two screws which don't seem to want to sit inside this screwdriver. Can't think why not. I mean, it's not as if I'm trying to save its life or anything, is it? Anybody else would have chucked it down the tip. Not me. Really. Well, there's muck, there's a bit of brass. There we go. Right, we best turn it all back on again then and see how much better it works. <laughs> Let's just get rid of the majority with the meter. <coughs> like so, I'll move the tools. We'll give it a quick go on the carpet and then we shall wipe it all down. I'll do it after summary and I'll set it. So. seems to have picked a fair bit up although some of that came straight in when I first turned it on and I imagine the rest of it is probably from the carpet it's picked up a little ball of rubbish so we'll back off the filter for one final time I'll go get a cloth. So I just have a microfiber just with some kitchen spray all-purpose antibacterial. Let's turn it off and unplug it and just wipe it down. It's not going to get much. Just to wipe down to get all the dust off, all the finger marks. Just to make it a little bit more palatable. Uh, to do. Spray, spray, spray. Coming off all right, actually. That's not too bad. Too bad at all. So it's not going to be perfect. I'm not aiming for it to be perfect on this one, I'm afraid. No concourse restoration for me. Just a good wipe down. Just to get the dust off. It's not that bad actually underneath it all. It's quite clean already. God, there's a load of rubbish there. I've just seen that more pine cone needles. There 
There we go. That'll do that bit. I'll put the hose back on properly for the last time. Give the bin a quick wipe out with the damp cloth. So, so damp, it's barely damp. Just brushing the dust off, really. Wipe down the top bit because it's quite filthy. Clean all in there. Clean the rubber seal. That'll do. Quick and dirty is the name of this game. Oh, that's not on. God, I hate these. I hate them so much. That's jammed. Why is it jammed? Just twist. Sorry, I can't show you it because I can't hold the phone. This is really stiff. There we go. So, the bin is on. Looks like a lot cleaner already. The turbo tool can have a wipe down, but it, it, it came up fairly clean, I'll be honest. Before, I should have wiped the riser visor down, I suppose, but we didn't. So never mind. Get the dusty crevice tool wiped. The dusty extension wand wiped. Pick that little bit of fluff out of there, and that's all right. Wind the cable up. Pop you up there. Right, so the cable is pretty annoying to wind up on this because the cord hook so is such a silly place. be going in the car to go home so we'll tuck the cable in and we are done one electrolux vitesse pet lover given a light service and overhaul and a spontaneous unclog all on film wasn't quite expecting to but never mind that will do oh, hang on that looks awful there we go that'll do it no one's going to see it. I'll set it with dark. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this interested you. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but no refunds. And I shall see you soon. Oh. Ah, don't see it. You, you, you can't really see it unless you know where to look. If you look at it from that angle, you never know. So, bye bye for now.